Welcome back to Hills and Hollers. I'm Chris Swartz. And I'm Patrick Hayden. It's mid-January here in New Mexico. We're high atop Mount Taylor with Moment of Truth Outfitters and we're on a mountain life. But while we're taking a break from our hunt, let's go back to October when we were here with Moment of Truth, trying to hunt down a big old bull wapiti. So don't go anywhere. Chris is going to go after a monster bull here in New Mexico with the old stick and string. I'm Will Primo, and you're watching the greatest show in Kentucky, Hills and Hollows. On the last episode of Hills and Hollers, we brought you a rifle hunt in New Mexico with my dad, John. It was a long time dream of his to hunt bull elk, and he was not disappointed on this trip. Dad's monster bull on the ground, and dream fulfilled, it was now my turn to go after a bull of my own. The guys at Moment of Truth Outfitters were gonna have their work cut out for them with this stubborn Kentucky boy. On the very first morning of my hunt, they had me on a bull that was fired up and closing the distance.
down further. I never had, he was, his vitals were covered up the entire time. I never had a shot. I know that tree, the tree right there gave just too much of it, enough blocking right there to where we didn't have a clear shot at him. Yep. If he would have come up to right through here where we anticipated him to, we'd have a nice clear open shot when he never came through there. Nope. Hills and Hollers is brought to you by the Kentucky Gun Company, Absinthe, Lumina, Hunter's Safety System, Primos Hunting Calls, 10 point crossbows, sportsman's taxidermy, and trophy rock. KentuckyGunCo.com. The Kentucky Gun Company is your source for firearms. Going turkey hunting and need that perfect shotgun? Log on to KentuckyGunCo.com to find the perfect rifle you've been looking for. The Kentucky Gun Company has an extensive inventory of firearms for any game animal. Well-known brands like Kimber, Remington, Ruger, Thompson Center, and Savage. The Kentucky Gun Company welcomes special orders. And if we don't have it, we'll get it for you. No order too small. KentuckyGunCo.com. Flex crossbow from Ten Point. Twelve years in development, the GT Flex is ideal for any sized hunter. Whether shooting targets, small game, or trophy animals, the GT Flex can be pumped adjusted to maximize performance for every kind of shot. Imaged in mossy oak breakup and equipped with our ultralock barrel riser and banded power touch trigger, it is a lethal 300 feet per second hunting machine. The GT Flex from Ten Point. There is no substitute. When I'm at the track, I depend on products that perform. When I'm hunting, Trophy Rock performs for me. Plain and simple, if you want to pattern your deer and get bigger antlers, use Trophy Rock. We guarantee it. If you want the racks, get the rock. Trophy Rock. Are you tired of odor ruining your hunt? Log on to AbsintOutdoors.com and check out their line of odor eliminating soaps. Absint also offers cover scents such as fresh earth, cedar wood, acorn, and more. Absint soaps are handmade with all natural ingredients. Absint, natural soaps for the outdoors. Although my first encounter with the monster bull didn't work out like I planned, we were seeing more bulls and I could easily have shot if I put down my bow and grabbed the rifle. I guess they just grow them a little more hard headed in Kentucky. Day two was a little slower as bulls were reluctant to answer Jacob's cow calls. About mid-morning, we finally came across a bull that seemed interested in our calls, but he was reluctant to come charging right in like I hoped he would. I'm often asked by customers how should they properly store their firearm after the hunting season's over. Well, there's a couple things that you have to remember. First and foremost, you need to make sure you clean the firearm. Clean it inside out, 
Take all the gunpowder, all the copper residue, all the powder fouling, make sure all that's gone. The next step after you clean your firearm, make sure you coat it down with a good lubricant. And make sure this lubricant is actually meant for guns. There's a lot of lubricants out there, uh, some very popular lubricants actually on the market that actually contain water in them. After coating your gun with a good oil, you'll want to store it in a silicone sock. These socks have a very specific purpose. They have silicone impregnated into them. And what this does, this draws moisture away from the gun for the entire year while it's in storage. Now let's talk about how you're going to store it in your safe. This is very, very important. Uh, not so much for the synthetic stocks, but for the wood stocks. When you store your gun into the safe, you'll want to be sure to store it upside down. What this allows to do, it allows any of the oil that's in the action in the barrels to drain down down through the barrels and on out. What happens, if you store it like this, the oil drains down into the wood, and over time this will decay and rot out the wood, and you don't want that on your wood stocks. I'm Patrick Hayden, and that was today's Tech Tip. Sportsman's Taxidermy, specializing in American, African, and Asian trophy mounts. We offer award-winning taxidermy service with over 28 years of experience. We can handle all your big game, small game, bird, and trophy fish needs. We can customize your trophy mount to meet your personal desires and expectations. You can ship trophies to us by UPS, FedEx, or DHL. We're dedicated to providing you with a lasting memory of that special hunt or fishing trip. Sportsman's Taxidermy, where quality is an attitude. Hunters know it's best to get in the air. You can see farther, you can see better, and you can see more game. Using the patented elevators from Shadowhunter, you can do it yourself for a lot less money. Elevators create a strong, safe, and stable construction in a fraction of time by allowing you to use standard 4x4s to create your own elevated blind. And they're only $79.95. That's right, just $79.95. So instead of spending hundreds or thousands of dollars for blind save time and money, call 888-4-GO-HUNT for a dealer near you. That's 888-4-GO-HUNT. I heard it. Did he bugle right there? Yeah, he bugled right there. I, don't I ranged I don't that tree was... that he stood next to before he came up. Oh, was it 20 yards? And it's yards? 20 yards exactly yeah. to that tree. So I just put my 20 pin on him. <laughs> Where'd you hit him at? Right How far back? Shoulder. Just right Good behind shot, the shoulder. Man. Oh, it's, it's a blood, blood just went. This brings us to the end of our New Mexico hunt. And I was determined to get one with my bow. And as you can see, we got the job done. And you want to talk about a moment of truth. And when that bull came screaming up the hillside and stopped perfectly broadside, posing for the camera. He's all busted up on this left side. He's been fighting. He had several cows with him. He's a herd bull for sure. My hat really goes off to Chris. He, uh, he was bound and determined to do it with his bow. And uh, we saw many bulls, 310, 320 plus, that he could have easily shot with his rifle. And yeah, it's been, a, been an exciting hunt. We got, some, uh, we got some action going yesterday morning. We had about, he was probably around a 315, 320 bull, about 15 steps from us. And, uh, as you guys can see on the film, he just needed to take about two more steps out and he was... He'd have been history. Uh, if he could still carry a harem of cows of, you know, eight to ten cows and be broken off on one side like that and, and uh, 
still not have any other bull want anything to do, have any part of you. You're a you bad know, man. You know that he's definitely uh, earned his respect in the woods. And now we gotta get him off the mountain. <laughs> On his way to Kentucky. Yeah. Yep. In the middle of nowhere. <laughs> yep. Call that helicopter. <laughs> Dad and I came to New Mexico with nothing but a rifle and a bow, and together we would leave with two trophies and a freezer full of meat. But luckily, Polaris makes a vehicle that is more than ready to get into spots far from any road and haul out a heavy cargo. Well, I'm tagged out, Dad's tagged out, but Gary here's got a cow tag burning a hole in his pocket. So it's a nice cold morning. I think we're gonna slip up the mountain, see what we can see. Yeah, maybe call in a trophy-sized cow. <laughs> now she's ready. Done deal. Let's right. go find her. able to drop a hammer on a cow elk that morning, but we would regroup and be back out that afternoon with Jacob to seal the deal. It's time to hunt the monster buck of your dreams. Extreme Management Hunts has some of the most intentionally managed property you ever stepped foot on. Their excellent lodging and year-round guides will help you to make your dreams a reality. So if you enjoy big bucks and low hunting pressure, then you need to call Extreme Management Hunts today. 1-217-430-2695. I believe that Primo Silver XP is a great product. Some companies claim that their products are 100% foolproof, and that just isn't the truth. You still have to practice good woodsmanship, pay attention to the wind, and you just can't be sloppy about your scent control. Silver XP will make an animal think you're no threat at all when you're really just 10 yards away. For more on Silver XP, go to primos.com.
sugar. Take it, take it. Better clear that rock right there. I lost. She's down, dude. Let's go find her. Before it gets dark. Congrats. <laughs> that was Luke's. <laughs> <laughs> we had these cow tags. We started out about 3.30 this afternoon. Who knows, maybe five miles on the other side of the mountain. The bulls weren't really bugling. They were hard to locate. We worked it, worked it, worked it all afternoon. We finally came to a point almost a thousand yards away and we glassed up a bunch of cows on the side of the hill. There were probably four or five bulls on the top of the hill just grazing. We made our stock down about halfway over. Shooting light was fading fast. We had to do something. We kind of uh, made, made the best stock we could. Stock. Yeah, <laughs> we dropped down in on them, and uh, everything turned out good from there. I'm with Ronnie Strickland, a mossy oak. He's going to tell us about this brand new camouflage pattern that we have out for 2008. Yes, sir. Well, it, it, if you know a little bit about Moss Elk, you can see it's a little different. And, you know, back in the day when Toxy was starting with Bottomland and Greenleaf, it was all kind of a from his head to an artist canvas. And now everything's done computer generated. It's, uh, it's quite a process. Everything in the past, you know, tr uh, uh, break up, everything has always had a little bit of Bottomland. You can see we kind of lighten this up because the first tree stand pattern we had, Really good limbs and leaves. Well, technology keeps getting better. And by technology, I mean the way they print it on the fabric. This is strictly a tree stand tree stand pattern. It may not be what you want on the ground, but if you look up, it's got the lights and the darks coming through it. It's got the shadows. It's got the browns, you know. And when you, when you think about tree stands, everybody hunts in tree stands, but when you get like in the Midwest, you know, that part of the country, the Northeast, the foliage is, is gone. It's gone way before it is down in Alabama and Mississippi where we hunt. Right. And that's what this address is right here. This is definitely a lot lighter pattern than what you guys are accustomed to. It's a little bit lighter, but once you get it up in the tree and you look up, you always got to kind of remember the deer's perspective, looking up. You know, that's why we wanted to make a big push at the archery show. I mean, there's a few guys hunting from ground blinds, but you know, 99% of the guys who bow hunt, Right. Like y'all do, they're up in trees, so we wanted to get something that would really look good. You know, when the foliage is gone, you know how hard it gets to, you can't always find that triple budded tree or something you can slide in. It gets tougher and tougher. It gets harder and harder, and that's what we did to address this. And the reception here has been just phenomenal, from the bow guys to the clothing guys, scent lock, scent blocker, everybody. They went nuts over it. And it's uh, it's something that's going to be a little bit different from the moss you have been seeing, but uh, bottom line is, very effective. Uh, I think for what you've designed it for, I mean, mission accomplished, definitely. That's right. You That's tell. right. It's pursuit specific. Pursuit specific. <laughs> pursuit? <laughs> say it again. Pursuit for specific. Let me say it again. All right. It's not It's not used to the kind of moss elk you're used to seeing, but, you know, like with the new waterfowl pattern, duck blind, it's more pursuit specific. That's a, that's a tongue twister now, but I, understand. I think the bow hunters, when they see it, they get it just like that. Well, mission accomplished. It looks really good. Thank you, Look sir. forward to seeing it in the stores. Appreciate it. Thank you. And that's going to conclude our New Mexico elk hunt for this year. We'd really like to thank Moment of Truth Outfitters. Their expertise is unmatched by anybody out there, and their hospitality is second to none. They really went out of their way to get me and Dad on the bull. They're aggressive. They're good at what they do. And if you want to give elk hunting a try, give Moment of Truth Outfitters a call. They're the real deal. If you're looking for the hunt of a lifetime and an outfitter that is willing to work for you, you've definitely come to the right place. Moment of Truth Outfitter is where it's at, and it's all in the name, the Moment of Truth. Tune in next episode, because we're bringing the adventures of Hills and Hollers back to Kentucky.